What is up, y'all? This is a very special episode 11 of Sunny in the Show. You know me, whether you do or whether you don't, you should. I'm your boy, Sunny, and I'm coming at you straight from a different hidden location. Maybe it's the middle of nowhere. Maybe it's the outside edge of somewhere. But regardless, I'm here, and I appreciate the fact that you're here with me. So what's been going on guys? Here I am working, doing my thing on my grind and I'm just kind of hanging out right now between uh, between takes, between readings and uh, I'm sitting here in the, in the front office and just having kind of like the time of my life. Just sitting here chilling and working on a few things and getting a few things done. I've just done a few edits to the old, uh, good old fashioned Bomb City Glamour. And uh, that, I tell you what, I'm gonna keep editing. I'm gonna keep making that thing sweeter and better. Um, if it, uh, from this point on, if it needs to be changed, I'm gonna change it. But I'm not gonna just second guess. I'm not just gonna put stuff in just because I think it needs to be put in. As far as I'm concerned right now, it is done. We'll just have to see what needs what coming up in the future. Uh, I'll tell you what though, I've had the time of my life, I uh, got to work a bit early this morning and I was full of piss and vinegar for most of the night. Now uh, it's coming up on 10 o'clock and I am just now getting the uh, weird case of the ugh, tired. I'll tell you what, it's going to be great. Um, I did something similar this last weekend and uh, you know, kind of threw me off, threw me way off because I didn't, my body didn't know how to handle it, so I just fell apart. But uh, I tell you what, next weekend I'm heading out to uh, Panhandle, Texas, and uh, some people say north, some people say west, some people say Panhandle, some people say I don't know, hell on wheels. What what do you what do you uh, what do you say? I don't have any idea. Does it really matter? I'm not sure it does. But, um, tell you what, this weekend, this uh, weekend, I know, I'm gonna be having fun, I'm gonna do some chilling, I'm gonna get some things together, and uh, I'm gonna do whatever, you know, do whatever needs to be done, have some fun, uh, just keep it together, you know? So, I, uh, for this week, I chose to take my advice, I'm just gonna beehive everything. Wow. But, I'll tell you what, I'm just um, kind of watching, I'm watching people go by and I'm kind of there, but uh, I'm very, I'm very simple doubt, very, very simple doubt. Um, no, uh, tell you what though, I was just thinking about having some yogurt and I'm really thinking about getting a haircut, because, wow, this is just out of control, but uh, the more I talk to the uh, makeup department, about my um, snaggly bully mammoth hanging off my face. They they just keep saying, "Well, your character needs it right now." I don't like it. I don't want it. But I guess that's just the way it's gotta be for right now. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully coming up uh, in the script in the uh, reason in the near future. <laughs> Maybe uh, my character is going to have a uh, change of part, if at all possible. Uh, I'm going to get down on that. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Oh, but what else? I'll tell you, it's kind of a nice day today, and um, it's, uh, looking at, looking out the window, I'm just kind of staring off into, into craziness, you know. Staring off into the sheer madness of the situation, but I tell you what, it's, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, I know everybody's used to seeing me coming from the uh, the truck on the outside of the old uh, of the old property there, but um, it's not. Um, well, I have, yeah, now I hear the doorbell going off. Um, you know, everybody used to see me from the good old-fashioned Big Red, coming from the uh, 
traveling around on the outside of the lot, but I figured today would be a good day to just throw down. If you're going to do episode 11, do it from somewhere else. Get lucky. Be, be uh, whatever. You don't have to be any one thing. There's nothing that you have to do at this point, but uh, this is my new thing. You know, at first I was scared to do one episode a week. And so Tuesdays I just looked at it and went, that's all I want to do. And then uh, something happened to me. And so Tuesdays and Thursdays I just kind of uh, started kicking it. And uh, I may not have the greatest, you know, insights and uh, so sort of credit thought to kick around. But i tell you what, I've got something um, that's okay. I've got something that's pretty cool. So, um... I don't know, something happened to me and I just, I just like, uh, just start kicking it with three shows a week and, you know, um, I've been doing this since the middle of June, uh, with Sunny in the show and, uh, it's been working pretty well for me. Um, I like that a lot. Um, so, you know, probably by Halloween I'll just be kicking it six, seven, eight shows a week. I, who knows? Who can say I would love to. Uh, I would love to get to the point where I had enough courage to uh, kick it with a little bit of the good old-fashioned eight shows a week, nine shows a week. Start, you know, just start really just getting into it. Start kicking it. Um, do ten shows a week that are all five, four minutes long. You know, just jump on and say, uh, say hey, to everybody, here's what we're doing, here's what's going on. Um, that might be some kind of a good idea. That might be a lot of that might be me just uh, talking out loud. Or talking to Matt. Huh. Which I have been known to do from time to time. Other than the time that I spent in the practice of howling at the moon. Which was uh more or less in my in my favor. I liked it. Um, there's a lot of you that may or may not understand that that's what you have to do sometimes is just flat out get a little wild, get a little crazy, get, you know, get a little out of your mind. I'm not saying go out and hurt somebody or hurt yourself. I tell you what I'm saying. I'm saying just do something that makes no sense. Do something just for the sheer fun of it. Just for the sheer hope that you can look back one day and just say, Oh, my goodness, I did do that. But uh, I tell you what, I said one of the absolute most profound things yesterday and it just kind of blew my own self away. And it was cool. I loved it. What it was was kind of funny because I looked at it and uh, I said, You know, maybe you and I are going to be in San Antonio one of these days or some random city, we're going to be somewhere doing something, and we're going to be chilling, and I'm going to look over and say, you know, this kind of reminds me of the time that uh, we were in San Marcos, and that's going to be our life. You know, if I have one single solitary thing to say about it, that's going to be my life. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get back to it, I'm going to get back on my grind and get back to my thing. I can already hear the other people deciding that they're going to call me and get all weird and rowdy and start wringing their hands. So, what do I usually say? And it's not just something that needs to be said, it's something that everybody needs to do. Be cool. Be absolutely as cool as humanly possible. Um, we're not always going to be all cool all the time, all the way, all the way down, but we can try to be as much as we possibly can. Or, you know, whatever. But, uh, behave yourself. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna find out that, uh, behaving yourself gets more and more naturally as the days go on from here on out. Um, maybe by the time we're all about 114 years old, we'll, we'll decide that, uh -huh, maybe now it's time to start behaving ourselves and doing really good. But if you're gonna behave yourself, you might as well behave yourself. Behave? Well, you could behave yourself, or you could just beehive yourself. I don't know what it means. I think I know what it means. I think it just means keeping it all together. I think it's just kind of slang for, you know, just doing the thing. So, uh, 
Um, if you can't, if you can't be good, just do your best to try to be good at it. You know. So uh, I tell you what, me coming from a remote secret location in the middle of nowhere, I'm gonna have to tell you this uh, little nostril right there and this little five head right up there. It's um. And it's kind of a funny thing because they can meet in the middle and their translator becomes this whole thing and it's the I Mount. <laughs>